Hello, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Welcome once again to Pam Reading Freya. This is general, general monthly reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of April. Let's see what is important to know for everyone under the sign of Scorpio for the month of April. Okay, so we're going to put the intention and the question for everyone under the sign of Scorpio for the month of April 2019. What is important to know for them at the moment? I am open to receive for Scorpio. For everyone under the sign of Scorpio. Okay, here feels right to me. I will cut the deck and I begin pulling out your cards. We have the Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and Four of Pentacles. I will pull one romance, one romance card because I can see how this reading is going to lean a little more into love and I want to know what is important to know for you in love relationships. For everyone under the sign of Scorpio, what is important to know for them? For them? For the month of April. Alright, let's see. Okay, we have honeymoon. Okay, the first thing I began seeing for the month of April, for some of you under the sign of Scorpio, is a feeling of uh, sadness, melancholic, and, may, and also could be discontent um, about something that happened to you, possibly in the month of March. Uh, you are beginning the month with this energy, maybe feeling dissatisfied about someone you lost. Maybe you have um, arguments with your partner, misunderstandings. If this relates more to career and finances, this could indicate to me that um, maybe applications or something you were hoping to qualify for or to be involved in, you have received by now the answer that this is not possible at the moment. It's a denial. Maybe try again later. The important thing for uh, many of you to know is that this is not the end of the world and the situation and the energy is going to turn around in the following days. This can also um, be that the energy is going to change faster than you think. It is highly advisable to not be looking at the cup half empty, but instead, instead half full because you're going to have um, up to two different times or separate times and opportunities to resolve whatever you are feeling sadness or heaviness in the month of April. Now, we move into finances. When it comes to finances, for some of you, you're going to feel like I have everything I need or I have many things to be thankful, thankful for. There might be a, a gathering in the family, a situation when everybody gets together and you really enjoy um, the company of, of many. This could be your children, your brothers, sisters, and your parents. This is a total togetherness and maybe in this, um, what I was going to make uh, this gathering uh, great is that um, everybody might bring something that it makes it more interesting, like a dish or the cokes or the or a plate or a dish or something special that they cook. And I can see how that is going to make it feel more um, special. Here I have um, contrasting energies. For some of you, you are going to be very well uh, setting your finances. For other of you, um, there is going to be a sense and worry of, of thinking or not knowing if you are going to be able to pay the bills by the end of the month. You might be thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pay my car or pay the rent for the house. There is some, some kind of sense of uh, worry. But what I'm getting is this is going to be a temporary um, situation. 
because things will keep moving in motion. Also, the other thing I see is that you are not alone in this uh, financial struggle for the month of April. Um, maybe it's because you know what? Your partner is going to be there and he maybe is going to help you to, to maybe give you money or maybe give you support or maybe have an idea in how things are going to get paid or resolved for the month of April. So just worry, do not ever expand because you begin the month really strongly. Maybe you overspend on some areas. Please don't do that. Think about the future or the end of the month because maybe there is something that you expected and it didn't arrive or you receive less on your paycheck for one reason or another and now you worry. So don't overspend in the beginning of the month so you won't have to be dealing with this um, situation of not knowing if you will have enough. Okay, if some of you, like I was talking in the beginning of the reading, had a, a fight, a miscommunication, or something happening between you and your partner, I see the April 2nd, it could be April 2nd, or the second week in April, around the 14, 15, um, you, there, there's your opportunity, okay? You, there's your opportunity again to resolve, communicate, and maybe make up your mind about or be faced with the choice, do I want this person back into my life or not? Do I want to accept the help this person is offering me? Maybe in finances, maybe it's supporting you in, in one way or another and something. And that is a decision that you are going to have to make. Either if it is to forgive and give another opportunity, talk about, or if you want this person into your life back again, or if you are willing to accept this person's help or this person is trying to approach you, okay? Because even though you might just come out of a relationship, something is going to be happening there in the month of April as a possible um, togetherness with someone. When this, and not, this is not going to be for um, for everyone, okay? If there is a reconciliation, I see that it's highly possible that you and your partner say, okay, we are back together. Let's do something to celebrate that we are back together. And you maybe decide we're going to go for two or three days or for one day this weekend. Um, it could be to a hotel. It could be to a driving away a couple hours, two hours away from home, and you will enjoy possibly a place where there's water and there is going to be a sense of, yes, we are back together. This is like our honeymoon. This is the, this is where we um, demonstrate each other, that we do love each other, that we love each other and care for each other. Okay, there is, it's very good energy. Okay, for some of you that are doing that, uh, I kind of envy you because I can see how this place that has water is beautiful, but I'm very happy for you all. Okay, by the month of, uh, by the end of um, April, uh, some of your Scorpios are going to feel because of the financial struggle that is possible for some of you, like you um, are over worry or are over trying to resolve situations and finances and job occupation. Uh, please, if this is the case, it's important to note that you have reached the, the end of that, okay? And the energy is going to begin changing. But it's also important to know for you that you don't have to carry this heavy load alone. I said help. Ask for help. Don't try to resolve everything yourself. Because if you do, then this can transfer to some possible health complications. And these are going to be all due to stress. This can include headaches, uh, back pain, no shoulders and neck. Especially it could be one arm. It could be more 
that is your right arm and not your left, and there is a sense of heaviness. Also, not your lower back, but around the waist, a back pain. So to avoid this, delegate, delegate. You know what? You are doing this. When I get home, I want the dishes done. When I get home, I want the laundry done. Delegate and uh, spread the responsibilities so you don't feel like you have to do everything. By the end of the month, um, hard work always pays off. There, this can indicate that if you were waiting for some money to arrive to you and it didn't arrive, and this is why you have those struggles, by the end of the month, that money arrives. Um, and for some of you, it can be a kind of um, more than you expected. Because I see some of you are thinking, okay, I have to save this for a rainy day. This is to do repairs maybe on the car. And this is to for the children. And this is to enjoy. I see you trying to, um, trying to separate the money and think about what you are going to do with. Others of you are going to be like, okay, this, no one is going to touch a cent. We are just going to put it in the bank and we're going to have it there just for security and just so that we don't feel like uh, we, be ha we have to worry again about this uh, situation that you just passed in the past. But overall, uh, the sense of uh, a sense of con content contentment and achievement is going to be there because with this, you regain your financial stability or security. Even though it can be temporary, but it's always good to have money to save, spend, and to and to do things you enjoy doing. Okay, so overall, um, financials, um, a little bit of struggles and setbacks, and love, um, reconciliations for some, and for others, a choice that you are going to have to make. Do I want this or not? That is all I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you so very much for allowing me to read for you. Please, if you would like to book a private reading with me, in the description box, you can find out how. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for allowing me. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.